I came to the to a pretty common sense conclusion that currency should just be used as currency and not as a means of earning more currency. Like having your money work for you is a myth. Having your your money work for you just means that somebody else is doing the work that you use your money to set up. And now you're earning money off the backs of their work. But it's a negative sum game. Ultimately, it takes less labor out of the system and puts more money in. Also, the Fed should not be able to print this much money. It's absurd. It should be limited in printing like one one hundredth of the money it's printing right now. Inflation is going crazy. I always thought that inflation was something that happened over a long period of time, that it, it's like it wouldn't even be noticeable. Well, it's, it's noticeable, bro. It's not even like a 1% type of a year per year type inflation, like how everyone said. Nah, dude, things that cost $200 like 10 years ago cost $1,200 now. Like things haven't just doubled, things have like 10 x in price from when I was really, really little. I don't want to go into too much detail. I've already talked about this before. This is, this is the whole appeal of cryptocurrency, in the beginning at least. Like Bitcoin was so amazing because there was a limit on how many you could have in, in circulation in total. 26 million Bitcoins or uh, 2.6 quadrillion Satoshi, I believe. Which actually seems a lot more reasonable um, if the whole world is going to use it. You know, if the whole world is going to be sending transactions all the time, you're probably going to want to start calling it Satoshi instead of Bitcoin. And I hate that it's turned into a market. I hate that people buy and sell cryptocurrency so that they can earn more dollars. Like they're buying Bitcoin now so that they can have a million dollars 10 years from now. How about you buy Bitcoin now so that you can have Bitcoin 10 years from now? It's a superior method of interacting in trade. We need a a stable, decentralized, and anonymous payment system. Currency exists for a reason. It's because as a society grows, you get a lot more luxuries. And finding someone to trade something with you, um, the exact same thing that you need, and having the exact same thing that they want is a real challenge. So it would be beneficial all around to have something that you all understood was valuable enough to separate out the trades and make sure everyone gets what they want. And boom, currency. And the fact that governments still don't take crypto payments and the fact that they deviated from the gold standard or the fact that I simply can't make bank accounts online anonymously or create like hierarchies of folders for bank accounts to store money in and send and receive money easily and it's such a hassle to move money around because they want to use them for um loaning them out to people even even like you you look at what these like other modern tech companies are able to do with their money uh like cash app or novo and things like that like they're able to let you automate stuff like mercury bank and all that and, and create usernames the way you would with like Venmo and stuff and just send and receive money the way it should be. Trade, it's, it's trade is what it is. So there needs to be a fucking payment system that is meant to make payments, all kinds of payments. Maybe make it a Chrome extension that, uh, that can let me go onto websites. You know those paywall websites that require you to have a subscription for like five dollars a month um but there's like so many of them it's like yeah you could get that much value if you read all their articles but i'm only going to read one of their articles so maybe make a chrome extension that could let me link my crypto wallet and pay like one penny's worth of crypto to bypass the paywall and then make it convenient um this is the solution to all this craziness by the way this is how you make a very successful cryptocurrency have all these markets sure fine but keep currency out of it Currency is currency, right? Have the NFT market, fine. Markets are markets, currency is currency. Keep those as separate, please. Nothing revolutionary here. I mean, anyone with common sense will come to this conclusion. Um, But if this is done, then people will stop seeing money as evil or even a necessary evil. They'll see it as a necessary good. 
as, as simply just a means for people to function efficiently and get what they want. It's probably, this, this whole attitude is probably one of the biggest hindrances, if not the biggest, stopping the spread of the acceptance of capitalism. And probably, this is also probably the roots of the issue driving all the other issues that push these dumbass kids to be anti-currency commies. You fix currency, all right? That's it. Currency is not bad. You have to fix currency. Well, people are turning currency into markets. Markets being bad or good, that's a different debate. But currency, there's nothing bad about currency. But there's definitely something bad about the way people are treating cryptocurrency right now. <laughs> but if you want more on this one, then I think um, there's a Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan 490, either 4, 480 or 490. Check out either one of those, um, but there's a crypto guy on it, and he talks about it pretty well.